Welcome to video five of how to use template.com to make passive income with Xe, Shopify, or WordPress. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the template design process and show you how easy it is to create a template. So this is where the fun begins. So make sure to watch this video to the end. Now, if you ever get stuck and can't find the next video on the playlist, all you need to do is click on the description area below this video to see the link to the following video and so on. These instructions will be the same for each video. Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to turn your passions into profits, please subscribe. I upload weekly videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell to be the first one notified of any new videos. Let's head over to my computer to get started. All right, so here we are on template.com and let's go ahead and get started by creating a design. So click on the design option right here on the top right corner. And it's gonna open a new window with an introduction video. Feel free to watch the video if you like. If not, you could just close it out and follow my instructions. So let's give it a few seconds here while it uploads. I'm gonna go ahead and close my video option off. And these are the different menus right here. So templates, is where you will find any template, any design that you have created. Text is where you will find um, your text. Elements is where you will find different elements that you could use. Um, these are all free elements that you could use um, based on your membership with template. And this is where you will upload your own design as well. You will click right here on the three, dot, three dotted lines and you will click on new element and then upload your elements. And then down here, it gives you the option of different colors for your background. And you can also choose any of these textures as well, as you can see, any of these right here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and click on File, New. And these are the different templates that you have the option to choose from. You could do Single, Double-Sided, Book Fold, Custom, Geo filter and tent fold. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do double sided. I'm going to do a wedding invite. I always like to provide the customer the option that they could have a double sided if they wanted to. So I'm going to click on this one. And the standard price, the standard size for a wedding invite is five by seven. So I'm going to keep it that size, but you could change this to whatever size you prefer. So here is my front side. And if I click here, this is going to be the back side. So for the purpose of this um, tutorial, I'm going to upload um, some of my clip art that I purchased, but I won't be using these to sell on template. This is just for a tutorial. So I'm going to click on elements. I'm going to click on these three little dots right here, new element. And I'm going to go ahead and click on upload element files here. So I'm going to go to my computer and locate the file. And I'm going to go ahead and upload them. Now, keep in mind, there is a threshold. The files shouldn't be bigger than 20 megabytes. So if the file is bigger than that, it will tell you. One cool thing that you could do is when you're downloading um, your images, you could check right here and it will tell you how big that particular file is. So something that is um, over 20, you wouldn't be able to download. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a tag so later on I could find this element. Keep in mind that you wanna put tags here that are relevant to whatever you're uploading. This is not for XCSEO. This has nothing to do with SEO for your WordPress or Shopify. This is simply to identify that particular digital asset that you're uploading. So later on, you could find it easier. So I'm going to go ahead and call this um, white flower. Um, and that should be sufficient for me. I'm going to go ahead and add. And then I think one is good enough for me. And it's going to go ahead and upload it. As you can see, it's uploading right here. So let's go ahead and go to elements now. And it should be showing up, but still 
processing at the current moment. So let's give it a few seconds. Let's go ahead and upload another one while that's processing. So I'm going to go ahead, go back to my computer. Now I'm going to do, let's see, maybe this one right here, a flower bouquet. So I'm going to upload this one and I'm going to say for this one, white, oops, white flower bouquet. And I'm going to go ahead and add it. And I'm going to go ahead and add it to elements. So let's go ahead and see where it was added. So what you could do is just do a quick search here and just say white flower. Do a quick search and see what shows up for you. So it is still it still shows processing element. So it's downloading still. So let's go ahead and get started with the text while this process is downloading. Now keep in mind, it is a lot quicker when you upload elements. This is most likely my internet connection because I have had issues. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. It's, it says the wedding, the, the wedding celebration of, and I'm gonna drag this and put it on the top because I wanna work on the top one. So make sure that you select the layer that you're working on. Let's delete this one for now. Let's go back to text, put this one up here, and I'm gonna put it right here. Right now it gave me the, the goal that the elements have been added. So I'm gonna go to the elements now. And as you can see, when I typed in white flower, it's showing up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the first one that I had uploaded, and I'm gonna put it make it a little bit smaller than this. So just grab the corners right here, drag it up and make it a lot smaller. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller to fit the five by seven. So I kind of like how that looks right there. That looks pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is go back to elements and grab the other one. And I'm gonna put it like right here. So this one also, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. And it's, it's turning out to be really big because the file is big and I'm doing a five by seven. So naturally that's why, but all you got to do is just play around with it. So I'm going to put this one right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add text and I'm going to just click here on add heading and I'm going to push this down and I'm going to put my name and my husband's name, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this. So you could do something like this, and then you could change the font. You could use any of these fonts that they already have available for you here with no problem at all. So you just have to play around with it, see what you know speaks to you, what looks good to you. Um, I kind of like this one actually, and I want to put it in one line. And then you could add text here, right, for whatever you're adding. So go back to text, add a paragraph text, and you can make the paragraph text a little bit longer if you wanted to by just extending the corners. But let's see. Oops. Okay. Let's see if it lets me ungroup them. It looks like it's grouping it together. Let me just see now okay there we go so you have to play around with this sometimes pick each layer individually right here right here this will be you can make this text box a little bigger if you wanted to so all the information is here so you could put um let's say the wedding is saturday june 6 at 3 p.m and then you put the address, you put the location, right? The RSVP, and this is actually good to go, right? So you will fill all this out with the information, obviously. This is just for the purpose of this video. And this is how simple it is. Now keep in mind, you could change the background 
of the actual invite if you want. You could use something like this if you wanted to, to make it look like rustic. Obviously play around with it to see what would look a little bit better. This one doesn't look too bad. So you could play around with the background. As you can see, you could do something like this, like this is the background. And when you add the back side, you could add a little bit more of texture. So you could create this as the background of the actual invite, right? Or you could do a solid color if you wanted to. So you could do something like this, like a dark gray, and this is the actual invite. Keep in mind, you could, you know, move this to the corners if you wanted to, or just leave it there. So this is actually good to go. Let's say that you're happy with the design. All you're going to do is go to File, Save, and enter the name of this particular design. So I would say Wedding Invite. And then down here, I would put Wedding Invite with White Flowers. Or it doesn't let me write as much, so I'm going to put white wedding invite and I'm going to go ahead and submit this okay and then submit so now this file is saved as a actual template that somebody could buy and edit now another cool thing that you should know is that let's say you want to download this to print it at home just to see how it looks or you want to just download it to use it for your actual mock-up for the picture that you will use for your XC mock-up or maybe you're using this for your Shopify store or for your WordPress. All you would need to do is go down here, download. You could download it as a PDF, as a JPEG or PNG. So you would just click on the file that you want to do. Um, you could do low resolution for the actual photos because it really doesn't matter. No one's going to use the actual product presentation photo to, to use as their invite. Or you could do a high quality one if you wanted to. So let's say I wanted to just create a high quality. I click on create PNG and it's going to download this for me. And it says your PNG is ready. Download now. Click here. And then now this is the template zip file where it has this. I could actually use this for my actual mock-up to showcase people, hey, this is what I sell. And what's cool about it, if you go to templates now, and let's go ahead and do a, re um, a refresh, your template is right here now. It's already available for someone to go ahead and use. So it shows up right away for you. As you can see, it's already in here for you. So this is how easy it is to create designs now it's really up to you what you want to upload, what clip arts you're using, what are you creating? Are you creating wedding signs? Are you creating wedding invites? Are you creating um, birthday cards? Are you creating save the date cards? It just depends on your creativity and what you're creating to sell as a template on your platform of choice, whether it's Etsy, Shopify, or WordPress.